Hello there. This is Reverend Clare, the vicar from the Stockton Country Parish. You might know me from school. I thought, with all of you at home, with more time on your hands, you might enjoy some stories. Now, my children are big now, but I've kept some of my favourite books from when they were children because we always loved reading to them. And I couldn't bring myself to get rid of them. And uh, I'm really glad I did now. So tonight, I'm going to read you... Millie's Marvellous Hat by Satoshi Kitamura. It's one of my favourite books ever because of both the pictures and the story. I do love picture books. So this is Millie here. Millie was walking home from school when she came across a hat shop. There were lots and lots of hats in the window, but the one she liked best was the one with the colourful feathers. Millie went inside. May I see the hat with the colourful feathers, please? She asked the man behind the counter. Certainly, madam, replied the man, and he fetched the hat from the window. Millie tried it on, and it suited her perfectly. I'll take it, she said. An excellent choice, madam, said the man. That will be five hundred and ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Millie opened her purse and looked inside. Oh dear, she said. Do you have anything a little cheaper? What sort of price were you thinking of, madam? asked the man kindly. Well, about this much, said Millie, and showed him her purse. It was empty. I see, muttered the man, and he looked up at the ceiling. Millie looked up at the ceiling too. It was covered with interesting patterns. Aha, said the man suddenly. I think I have just the thing for you, madam. Wait a moment here, please. And away he went to the back of the shop. A few minutes later, he returned with a big box in his hands. He placed it on the table and removed the lid. This is the most marvellous hat, madam, said the man. It can be any size, shape or colour you wish. All you have to do is imagine it. Carefully, the man took the hat out of the box and put it on Millie's head. It fitted her perfectly. Thank you, said Millie. I like it very much. She put her hand in her purse and handed the man all she had in it. Thank you, madam, said the man. Would you like your hat in its box? No, thank you, said Millie. I'll take it just as it is. Millie felt happy in her new hat. But now I must think what my hat is going to look like, she thought. Perhaps it has lots of feathers like the one in the shop window. Only even more feathers. It was a peacock hat. Look at all those feathers. Oh, all the way over to that side too. Oops, showed you the wrong page there. Millie stopped outside a cake shop and looked in the window. All the cakes looked delicious. So Millie had a cake hat. Oh, sorry. When Millie passed a flower shop, her hat became flowery. <gasps> Look at that. You could fit a bird in the top of there too. And in the park she wore a fountain hat. Nobody's noticed. Suddenly Millie saw that she was not the only one with a special hat. Oh, look at all these people. What kind of hats have they got? What can you see? 
all the things that they're imagining. <gasps> and more! You could pause the video at this point if you want to have a closer look. Everyone had a hat of their own and they were all different. She saw an old lady who was wearing a dark murky pond hat. Millie smiled at her and bir the birds and fish out of her hat leapt onto the old ladies. Look what's happened now. Millie felt like singing. And so did her hat. <laughs> Look at that. Her hat is a song. <gasps> wow, that's a beautiful song. Look at that. By the time Millie had arrived back home, her hat had grown so tall that she couldn't walk through the door. So she thought of another hat. How do you like my new hat? She asked her mum and dad. New hat, said her mum, but you haven't... Then she stopped and smiled. It's a marvellous hat, Millie. I wish I had one too. But you do have one, said Millie. You only have to imagine it. Look, all her family have got hats. You can see what's on their minds. She was right. Everyone has their very own marvellous hat. I wonder what yours is. Sweet dreams. Good night.